An Autria the Last Song is a souls-like set in a beautiful, sunlit world inspired by Italian folklore where the brightest sun casts the darkest shadow. It will take you on an awe-inspiring theatrical adventure through multiple regions from the picturesque city of Quinta, through the sun-soaked shores of Falesia Magna, and the mysterious passageways of the Venetian-inspired Letumia, and more. An Autria comes from the name of an ancient region of southern Italy, which included the southeastern fringes of Campania, Basilicata, and Calabria inhabited by the Enotrians. According to a common belief, Enotria comes from the Greek word for wine due to the thriving and numerous vineyards in the area. The story is inspired by Commedia dell'arte, an early form of professional theatre, and many familiar characters will make an appearance. Every painting, weapon, outfit or area can be traced to a real-world equivalent, bringing forth an unparalleled level of authenticity in representing Italy. It is more than sunshine and picturesque landscapes that separates Inaltria from other games in the genre. We have made great strides in creating a highly flexible, push-forward combat, our innovative loadouts, combined with a deep RPG system, making experimentation easier than ever before, alongside greater systemic world interactions through hazards and rifts. The world has been gripped by the Canovaccio. You, maskless one, are the only one without a given role and master of your destiny. Defeat the fearsome authors that created it, and free the world from stagnation, by harnessing the power of Ardore. But as Ardore, you might ask, it is change manifest, the power to alter reality itself. It was first discovered by Pocinella, who legend says wrote a song about a fictional bird that grew to such renown that he one day saw it perched atop a branch. He has now taught you how to recognize the spots where the world is susceptible to alteration, as well as how to channel the very essence of your enemies. How you wield it is up to you. The Canovaccio has brought about an age of stagnation. The world, and all within it, are stuck perpetually playing out their assigned roles in a script that grows ever more twisted. A world that was one lavish and beautiful now finds itself decaying inexorably, hence the term, wasted beauty. Blacksmiths pummel anvils into the earth, as farmers till soil long since dead. Not even death is an escape from this cruelest of fates. On your adventures, you encounter a wide array of colorful characters, from the humble to the divine. Pochinella, your creator and mentor, will join you at every step to rescue the world. Together, you will face both fresh takes on characters from Commedia dell'arte, such as Capitan Spaventa, Pantalone, Palanzone, and more, as well as old gods fallen from grace, forsaken foes, or aspiring allies. Only time will tell. Do not be fooled by Anotria's dazzling landscapes and flamboyant characters, however. It is first and foremost a gameplay-driven title. We have put great effort into ensuring the title hits the mark on all the fundamentals of the genre. This begins with weapons, where we have put tremendous care to ensure they all have satisfying and varied movesets. Mighty blows come in every flavor of Carnage, with over 120 weapons across 8 distinct weapon classes and countless unique and creative appearances. We strongly believe fun is at the heart of a good game. That's why we've chosen to focus on a push-forward combat approach with fast and responsive dodge rolls and quick steps. There are no giant shields to cower behind. Instead, you are emboldened with our chainable parry system alongside multiple modifiers. Gone is the passive waiting for long enemy attack chains to be over. The only limit is your skill and creativity. To reward relentless players who can masterfully chain together actions, we have created the Unraveling system. It is a special status that can be built up by chaining offensive actions on enemies and if filled, will bring them to their knees. Once an enemy has been unraveled, a powerful repost attack can be executed. Doing so grants you the Awakened state, a powerful temporary buff that can be modified by your gear and emboldens you to jump straight into the next fight. Beneath this solid base layer, however, we've introduced a plethora of new RPG mechanics that we believe will dramatically change how players approach encounters. A key focus of Enotria is making build experimentation more fun, accessible, and convenient. As hardcore players, we know that it can be one of the most rewarding experiences, however, it is sadly usually burdened by respec, unreliability, and as such, done using guides on repeat playthroughs or only by the hardcore. In Enotria, you don't have to wait to have fun. With our systems, you can have your safe build right alongside your experimental one for the very first time in the genre. Loadouts are full builds consisting of masks, weapons, perks, aspects, gems, items, and lines, all 
on a single screen. They are our proudest achievement, opening up theory crafting of builds to everyone rather than only to the hardcore. The single screen and foolproof design means that anyone can conceptualize and come up with their own builds quickly and easily. Masks are powerful items dropped by enemies in an Altric. There are over 30 masks that have their own combat effects and perk slots, changing not only how you play, but how you look, with aesthetic as well as narrative implications. Lines are our answer to spell casting. We wanted to avoid playstyles that focus on passively slinging magic from afar while retaining the power of fantasy. This is why every single loadout can have up to four lines, mighty magical abilities that are charged by dealing damage. The passive foundation for your character's growth and experimentation are the statistics that you can raise. While many of them are familiar, such as health, stamina, or damage, there are some new approaches taken in an Autry. First, damage is governed by separate stackable stats. Ones affecting raw damage, or door damage, as well as elemental. Second, statistics are grouped in bundles that we call virtues. This way, each virtue can raise your survivability, meaning the players no longer have to choose between safe statistics such as health and stamina, and fun ones such as elemental damage or luck. Simply choose the virtue that embodies your playstyle best, and unleash your creativity. Aspects are another key feature and item in an Altria. They allow you to channel the essence of particular foes. In practical terms, each loadout can have an aspect assigned, which can dramatically alter your statistics. This means that regardless of your stat distribution, through aspects you can experiment with new equipment, say a sword that you otherwise couldn't equip, and enables even greater diversity and specialization with loadouts. Gems are items that govern our parry ability. As we want to encourage a push-forward style of combat, we have made sure that the parry is responsive, chainable, and potent. However, we are aware that parrying is not everyone's preferred playstyle. That's why gems exist, allowing you to make the parry easier or harder and to change what it's best at in each loadout. Want a less potent but easier parry? Go ahead. Want to parry spells rather than physical blows? We have it covered. This system is another way that we are enabling players to choose their own comfort level and preference and experiment without the burden of a respec. Our Path of Innovators system, less of a skill tree and more of a skill pool, allows you to unlock new perks that can be slotted into masks to mix and match as you please. Never again feel like you wasted a point, as you never know when an older perk might become relevant again. Our Companion system, which contains all the lore of characters, enemies in the world as a whole, ties into this. Solve puzzles, uncover secrets, complete quests, and defeat enemies to unlock new lore entries and gain inspiration, the currency used in the Path of Innovators. Completing entire sets of entries will give additional rewards that might surprise you. Further rewarding exploration. We've now described what loadouts are and all the things you can do with them. However, where the system really shines is the ability for up to three loadouts to be swapped between at any moment. This allows you to wield multiple masks using the best build for each situation and to become a veritable Swiss army knife of experimentation. Each player, of course, is only as great as his equipment. In an Autry, you can upgrade weapons, masks, and lines. We made sure to be generous to offer a refund for a cost, to encourage experimentation in the earlier parts, but expect commitment if you want to bring your gear to its absolute limit. Throughout an Autry of the Last Song, exploration can take many forms. Beyond jumping, you also have access to the powers of Ardor, using them to alter weakened parts of the world. Our main example of this is Rifts, special portals that you can open to completely transform an area, reverting it by leaving its boundary. This enables more creative traversal, as well as a variety of puzzles and secrets. Mini Rifts, on the other hand, are the little brothers of Rifts. They're more localized and close on their own after a set duration, offering a more bite-sized traversal puzzle experience. Not every rift is made the same, however. Combat rifts hide challenging foes behind their ominous portals. Once opened, you cannot leave them until the enemies have fallen, or you have. Elements and status effects are another area where we've tried to add our own unique flair to the genre staples. Each element in Altria is designed to both buff and debuff you at the same time, enabling an entire playstyle around creatively utilizing them to your advantage. This, or Wine, is a special status that increases stamina regeneration and damage dealt while reducing defenses. While innocuous on its own, it can be a powerful boon or a terrifying bane. 
Patol is the essence of undeath. This cursed spectral connection increases elemental damage significantly, but it also allows anyone to heal from damage dealt. An unreliable ally to mages, or a powerful curse for enemy warriors? It's up to you. Grazia is the holy healing power that comes from mysterious crystals. Grazia heals over time, however, any damage causes it to violently explode. For the swift, it is a free heal. For the reckless, it is an explosive end to their adventure. Malano is a horrific plague developed deep within the bowels of Lutumia. It deals damage over time, however, its real danger is that it rapidly spreads to nearby entities. Should one acquire resistance to it, they could become a plague bearer of legend or lose control of it. Inotria boasts a large array of enemies designed to creatively challenge you and maintain variety across the vast areas. Each one of them, from their look to their behavior, are based on real-world myths, legends, and outfits from Italian history. For the history buffs among you, expect some familiar masks. Players should always keep a lookout, as many enemies have variants. These visually distinct, altered foes are often much stronger, can possess brand new moves and abilities. In total, expect to face over a hundred different enemies. There is also a wide array of bosses, large and small, in an Autry, from the mighty actors and their theatrical bravado, to the many elites and mini-bosses that lurk within optional paths and secret chambers. While in Autria is a gameplay-centered title, we have still put significant effort in ensuring we have an exciting and nuanced story that each player can engage with at their own pace. The main story of the game has been designed to be more straightforward, ensuring those that want to focus on it can march onwards to the final fight without frustration. Straightforward does not mean basic, however. You will meet many colorful characters, and Puccinell himself is a systemic and reactive NPC who will often have a word or two of encouragement or mockery, depending on your actions. Should you wish to delve deeper, however, there are a multitude of sites NPCs, along with four old gods that you can find and recruit to the game's hub. Each god provides their own storyline and related quests. Complete all of the optional quests in Anotria, and perhaps you'll find that things are not as simple as you might have thought. The main story, alongside the optional content, culminate in multiple endings, based on the player's choices and the content they have found and completed. Inotria's soundtrack takes you on a journey through Italy's musical heritage. We wanted to highlight the variety of instruments and singing ranging from rural villages to ancient city theaters. Working closely with talented musicians, our aim was to infuse the soundtrack with elements from the long-standing tradition of frenetic dances, often tied to thaumaturgical and mystical elements or depictions of blade fights. The resulting style connected well with our goal to support the combat frenzy and to drive the tension of the battles. In Autria, the last song will be released on the 19th of September on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC via Steam and Epic Game Store. The game's pre-order is now open, and you can choose the version that best suits you, be it standard or deluxe. Pre-ordering also comes with its own set of incentives that you can check out at our website or in related stores. In Autria is also targeting a rewarding game experience with over 40 hours of playtime during a normal main story path. We're also very proud to announce our demo that will be available from the 22nd of May to the 30th of July on PS5 and PC via Steam and Epic Game Store. We're also aware that typically demos are not comprehensive and representative of the final product, so we decided to give more space to our uniqueness and intentions with the content of the game. This is why the demo contains 27 enemies, including variants, two mini bosses, one boss, 22 weapons, 3 gauntlet gems, 6 masks, 32 perks, 7 aspects, over 28 consumables, the ability to upgrade gear, as well as 18 lines. Unlike other demos, we wanted to give a deeper experience to our players, so we hope you will appreciate our demo's longevity, which currently stands at about 8 hours of gameplay to fully complete it.